Aries, you need to know this right now for July the 12th through July the 13th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for July the 12th through July the 13th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Aries for July the 12th through July the 13th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Aries for July the 12th through July the 13th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aries. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aries. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aries. It is clarified with the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed. Replaying things over and over in your mind. Losing sleep at night. Worried about something. So Aries, listen, you're all up in your head. Stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep. Bothered by something here. So Aries, listen, you can tell me you're bothered by the fact that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me that you're bothered because it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or you're anxious, but this is about divine timing. It's a timing thing. Aries, you have the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Clarify the four swords for Aries. Clarify the four swords for Aries. Clarify the four swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Aries, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. You know, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're kind of meditating here all up in your head concerning your abundance and an actual change in luck and fortune. Aries, you can tell me that, you know, maybe you're meditating on changing things and going into some type of commitment. However, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed and you guys has already established commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics may be coming to an end. You guys may be on a break here. Aries, you have the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. 
So Aries, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Aries. Clarify the magician for Aries. Clarify the magician for Aries. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Aries, listen. You could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Aries. Clarify judgment for Aries. Clarify judgment for Aries. It is clarified with you, Aries, or Taurus, the emperor. The emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the emperor for Aries. Clarify the emperor for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the emperor for Aries. It is clarified with the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets. Keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now the high priestess keeps silent. So it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So Aries, listen. You can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition. Or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Aries. Clarify strength for Aries. Clarify strength for Aries. Aries, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. Maybe be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Let's just do this. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Aries. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Aries. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Aries. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options. But all of these options aren't viable. Now this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions. But having many options. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Now Aries, listen, you know, I feel like you're trying to be strong and use your intuition here because you may need to make a choice or a judgment concerning some type of good news here. But Aries, you could also tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing, maybe trying to muster the strength and courage to come in with an apology, to ask for forgiveness and a second chance, 
or some type of romantic gesture here. Maybe some type of proposal. Maybe you're wanting to change things here. But maybe you're feeling like that, you know, maybe the timing is off. It's a timing thing here. Meditating on it. We'll see. Someone could be trying to apologize and ask for forgiveness and a second chance for some type of lies or illusions or having had other options. Aries, you have the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Aries, listen, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the seven of pentacles. For Aries, clarify the seven of pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the knight of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase. A new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Aries, listen, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles by Aries. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For Aries, clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For Aries, it is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development, and freedom. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Aries. Clarify the sun for Aries. Clarify the sun for Aries. It is clarified with the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Aries, listen, you're telling me you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played, Aries. So Aries, listen... Feels like you guys are on pause here, okay? You're stagnant and you're waiting, contemplating here, Aries. You know, you can tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light to cause you to feel hurt, mourning, and disappointed. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played and you're wanting to be happy. And it very well could be you trying to muster the strength and courage to come in to apologize here. This relationship is heavy on your mind here. You may want forgiveness in a second chance, trying to manifest that. Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Aries, listen, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment here. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles 
for Aries. It is clarified with the Two of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Aries, listen, either you're indecisive here or you're blocking. You know, Aries, I feel like you're indecisive about some type of practicality or commitment here. And the reason why I say that is because I feel like you're needing to think about it, needing to do some heavy duty soul searching concerning it, you know, maybe meditating on it. And I feel like it's about you guys is going into some type of commitment here, Aries, but this could also be dealing with your coins here and an actual change in your luck and fortune and some type of good news coming into you where you're needing to make a choice or a judgment here. So I just feel like it's about your stability, Aries, okay? You're needing to make a decision about your stability. Aries, I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you. Financial stability or commitment. And so, just being near you is intoxicating, okay? All right, then. Uh, you want to do something about it, Aries? Aries, you need to know this right now for July the 12th through July the 13th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.